friends, it is Mrs. Noun here in the Limitless Learning Headquarters, and we are here for today's sign language video. So today we are going to be learning some weather words and some natural disaster words. Um, and we are doing that because later today in our science video, we are going to see what happens when disaster strikes houses and uh, skyscrapers. So please turn, tune into that later. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to learn the signs so that later on we can talk about them and you can talk about them at home when we do them later. So let's get started. Now, if you watch the fishing video, you will already know this sign. It's the sign for sun. So you're going to take, it's almost like your S hand sheet. You're going to rotate your hand and you're going to open it up. Sun, almost like the sun's rotating and the rays. Sun, sun. Okay, the next sign that we are going to use is the sign for clouds. Now, clouds is kind of interesting because there's a whole bunch of different ways to sign it because you're more or less just making the shape of the cloud. Uh, now there's a whole bunch of different ways to sign this, so if you know some a different way to sign it, please share it with me, um, but this is the way that I have seen it signed most often. Um, so you're literally just making the shape of the cloud and, and, you, and you point to it. So the next one that we are going to do is rain. So you are going to imagine your Raindrops are almost like your fingers. Rain. Rain. And for snow, it's really similar. You're just going to twinkle your fingers like falling snow. Snow. But we're not hoping for that today. Not today. <laughs> um, okay, so for wind, it's another one that's really, really similar to clouds in that there's like so many different ways to sign it. So, for wind, what I have seen, and what I use a lot of the time, is you just, you make the action of the wind with your hands. Wind. Wind. Again, if you know a different sign, please share it with me. I love to learn. Um, the next one that we are going to learn is disaster. So, disaster, it's almost like, remember when we were learning laundry room? It's almost like that, except it's, like... The world is turned upside down, and it's gone. So, disaster. Disaster. <laughs> Still working on perfecting that one. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but we'll get there. Okay, so the next one that we are going to learn is tornado. So you're going to take your three fingers and put them down. Then you're going to put your thumbs together like that. You're going to wave them like this, and then you are going to take your fingers and spiral it away, like a tornado. All right, now the next one we're going to learn is hurricane. So it's really similar to the tornado, except you're gonna stick out that middle finger. So that's hurricane. Alright, the next one that we are going to learn is landslide. So, um, a lot of these natural disaster signs are, are similar in that there's so many different kinds of signs for them because you can sign them using the actual sign or you can sign them using signs that describe them. So, um, this one's kind of similar to that in that it is landslide. So, earth and it's coming down the side. Earth shaking and it's coming down the side. Landslide. Now, the next one we are going to do is earthquake. So it's the same, earth, and then you're gonna take your hands, quake. Earth, quake. Earth, quake. So the earth is shaking. <laughs> um, now the next one that we are going to learn is snowstorm. So it's like this, except it's like this. And you can make it more exaggerated, like there's so much snow, or there's just a little bit of snow, or there's so much snow. And you can do the same for like a rainstorm, except instead of twinkling your hand, you're just gonna, there's so much rain, Mrs. Mouth, there's so much rain. And with so much rain, that could lead to flooding, which is our next sign. So we are going to do the sign for water, water, and we're going to raise the level. So the water levels are raising. So that is a sign for flooding. 
Alright, the next one we are going to learn is a pretty fun one. I love it. It is the sign for volcano. So we are going to take our B sign, our B handshake. We're going to put them kind of in front of our nose. And we're going to bring them down. And at the same time, we're going to bring them into like a fist. And then we're going to go like an explosion. Isn't that a cool sign? I love it. <laughs> Alright, the next one that we are going to learn is fire, so wildfire, and the sign for fire is like this, so it's, you're shaking your fingers, that's like the flames of the fire and it's growing bigger, so that's fire. Now, if you were talking about a wildfire, you have flames everywhere. There's flames everywhere. If you were talking about like a wildfire in the forest, then you would have your trees, trees, and then you have your fire. Pretty sweet. Alright, now the next one, that, or the last one that we're going to learn is drought. So we are going to take our pointer finger, we are going to bring it across our chin like that, and as you bring it across, you're going to bend your finger, then you are going to draw your land, and you're going to, f you're going to flip your hands over, strong, hard, so it's dry, Dirt is hard. Pretty sweet. All right, my friends. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to today's sign language lesson. And I really hope to see you later for our science lesson when we will be seeing what happens when natural disasters strike houses and skyscrapers. Stay limitless learners.